Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of kitchen decluttering. I also desperately needed to organize my pantry. Um, I wanted to get everything ready for the holiday season. And today's video is also sponsored by LG. So huge thank you to them. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So the first things I wanted to tackle were my cabinets um, where I keep all of my daily dishes and all of that. I don't know if you guys remember when I did that huge kitchen declutter, it was pretty bad. And I told myself that I was never gonna let it get that bad again. So I have to just kind of do these smaller declutterings. I also really wanted to get inside of those cabinets and pull everything out, clean the little mats and also clean the glass. And again, just go through all my dishes and make sure that I was still using everything. So I started with the cabinet that has all of my dishes and there were a few things that I wanted to move around specifically because um, Sebastian goes into all of the cupboards that are on the bottom. So anything that was breakable, I transferred it to the top cabinet. So you guys can see, I do store a lot of the glass Tupperware in the top and I needed it to look a little bit better. I felt like everything was just kind of cluttering and since there's glass doors here, I really have to to make sure that everything stays organized. So after wiping everything, I also made sure to wipe the little inserts that I use in each cabinet. And these are really great because they don't stain the actual wood of your cabinet. If anything spills, this catches them and it makes cleanup so easy. And once those were clean, I went ahead and put them back. And now I went ahead and rearranged all of the dishes the way I wanted them. I ended up putting the dishes that we use on a daily basis in one of the floating shelves, which is something that I had never done before and I have no idea why. And so that made some space in the inside of the cabinet to put all of my glass food storage. I still keep the lids on the bottom with the rest of my plastic stuff. And then everything else, I kind of just left it the way that it was before. And then I also have a little spot for my favorite little pumpkin pot that I absolutely love and I can display it when I'm not using it. And then on the other cabinet is where I put all of my specialty drinking glasses. Nothing really changed over here actually. I just made a little bit more room. So I did end up donating just a few items, not many, but like these um, gold glasses, I don't use them anymore. I also went ahead and collected the rugs and cleaned those just because they kind of needed to be washed and I was gonna be cleaning for a while. So I threw those in the wash and then I moved on to the island and I went ahead and put all of the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. And I had to share with you guys my new dishwasher. This is from LG, it's the top control dishwasher and you guys, it does such a good job of cleaning my dishes. First, I wanna share with you like some of the really small details I absolutely love about it. The very first thing is what you guys are seeing right now, which is the light that turns on whenever you open it, which is this awesome if you're cleaning at night. But I also love that the shelves are adjustable. So it just makes loading your dishes so much easier because if you have taller items and you can just adjust the shelves by pushing this, these two little buttons. And the third shelf on the top is really good for like um, flatware, servingware, things like that. As you guys can tell, I do do not have the faucet running at all and that's because I do not have to pre-rinse any of these dishes. It uses a technology called True Steam, which basically will blast steam at the very beginning of the cycle and this is what's going to loosen up all of the um, particles of food, but it's still gentle enough that it's not gonna ruin any of your glasses or any of your more delicate items. And it also eliminates water spots by 60%, so you don't have to wipe down your wine glasses or anything like that. It also has a second technology called Quad Wash technology. And what what this means is that it has four multi-motion arms that rotate back and forth. This is what really gets everything super clean. Also a really cool feature, if you guys have um, Alexa or Google Assistant, you can actually sync it up to your dishwasher or you can also download the SmartThink app and you can use it to um, get alerts whenever your cycle is done and all the buttons are hidden so that it doesn't interfere with my decor, which I also very much appreciate. I do have the stainless steel in the black and I really like the color. I love that it kind of just blends with all of my aesthetics. And also something that's really cool about the exterior is that it has a print proof finish so it doesn't show like smudges or fingerprints and I don't have to use any like special chemicals or anything like that to clean it off. You can just use like a really soft cloth and that does the trick. So I'm going to have a link down below to the same exact model and color that I have so definitely check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up the island by just wiping down the surface. And then of course, I always have to clean off the sink. So I just add a little bit of soap and just kind of um, scrub the sink really good, get off any food particles. And then I like to spray it down with super hot water. And then I do like to towel dry it at the very end, just using that same towel that I used to dry down the countertops because I feel like when your sink is completely dry, um, it just looks like your your sink is finished. I don't know, is it just me? 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song 
So before we move on to organizing my pantry, I told myself I also wanted to organize my spices because I know that when I get to the pantry, there's gonna be some like random spices and I wanna be able to like refill these if I have to and all that. So I basically just took them all out, cleaned it out completely. And then I also got rid of anything that was already empty. And doesn't this just make you so happy? I swear, every time I open up this drawer after it's been organized, it just inspires me to cook. I went ahead and put everything back on my counters. I did rearrange things just a little bit. I'm gonna be putting up my Christmas decorations um, pretty soon, so I wanted to make sure to have everything kind of laid out the way I liked it before I put those up. I also just refilled whatever containers needed to be refilled. These are the same containers that I used for my DIY syrups, and when I ran out, I just started using it for my cooking oil. And yeah, I love the way my counters look. They just look so inviting. I am gonna be hanging up that green wreath that you guys see, but that's gonna be in my Christmas decorating video. Uh, and yeah, I just left the island completely clear and just added my flower vases. And now we're gonna move on to the pantry. And you guys, this pantry is a hot mess. It's so bad. Normally I like kind of like doing this huge pantry clean out project, right? Like completely clear out the whole pantry and then put everything back. But I had very limited time. Like I can only do these type of projects when Sebastian is asleep or with daddy. So instead I just kind of took things out um, shelf by shelf. And the first shelf I tackled was one with the gold baskets. And then I just organized each basket by like category. So the first one, I did all of my rice, um, noodles, pastas, things like that. The second basket, I did all of my grab and go snacks, AKA Sebastian's basket. He knows to find his cheese crisps in here and it's so cute. So yeah, these are just grab and go snacks. Um, the next basket, it's kind of like miscellaneous items. There's some snacks, some like dried goods, just things that needed its home. And yeah, I randomly found two bags of the same chips and one of them had already gone stale. And that's how you know you need to clean your pantry. The last basket, I wanted to create like a baking supplies basket. I've been baking a lot lately, just kind of um, learning new recipes and things like that. I also had some containers that were already empty, so I went ahead and washed them and then I filled them with all my baking supplies like chocolate chips, um, sugar. I also did some almond flour and just like whatever baking supplies I had laying around. And um, yeah, these are all my baskets. It looks so good and it, it just looks like so much better than it did before. I can actually see everything. So I put those baskets back and I went to the following shelf. And again, I didn't want this to be a huge project. So I just kind of took out a few items so that I could actually see what was in there. And I set those items aside. I wiped down the shelves and I started tackling the organizers that I already had. I have two Lazy Susans on this shelf and one of them I put all of my cooking oils on and it was so crazy because almost like all but two oils fit in it and they fit so perfectly. Then I also had this clear container that kind of just moves around the pantry. And in there I put things that are like easy to grab for snacks like peanut butter and Nutella. And then later on you guys will see I added more things to it. And then the other Lacey and Susan, I try to put all of my sauces and hot sauces and spices and things like that. And yeah, that shelf is done. I have my cans, my onions, and everything is just super easy to reach. So then moving on to the next shelf, I wiped that down as well. This shelf was really easy. Everything was already kind of still in its container. I just had to kind of wipe everything down. I do have a wine rack that I use my larger bottles in. I even put my ketchup in there and my mustard that hasn't been open and it just saves a lot of space. 
All that was left was the very top shelf and the bottom shelf, which basically just have um, larger items that we purchased from Costco that haven't been opened yet. Also some of my entertainment supplies, um, things like that. And I also started keeping my potatoes in a bowl because we make lots of sweet potatoes. Sebastian loves those. So I needed a really big bowl to like store all of them. I think it looks so much better. It's so nice to have my pantry back. So next I moved on to just wiping down the floors really quick because I feel like no space is actually clean until you do the floors, you know? The last thing to do was unload the dishes, which I was really excited to show you guys how clean the dishwasher got all of my dishes. Like look at this pan. I did not rinse it and you guys saw how dirty it was and it is sparkling clean. I even had uh, my clear coffee mugs and it doesn't leave any water spots whatsoever. And the lid, none of the lids had water spots and it just does such a good job, you guys. Like seriously, if you're in the market for a new dishwasher, definitely recommend looking into this one. Um, so yeah, I just finished putting the dishes away. Again, thank you to LG for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have a link down below. And since I was organizing for so long, I actually had dirty dishes accumulate because I stopped to eat and then some stuff that was um, coming out of the pantry. So I went ahead and just added those to the dishwasher just to make sure that the sink was cleared off. And as you guys can see, it is almost two in the morning. So this girl went to bed and it was so nice to wake up to like a clean kitchen and an organized pantry. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed organizing with me today. Definitely give the video a thumbs up if you did. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.